to the Geek Lab. Oh, the lab to geek, or whatever you want to call it. Anywho, that's the formalities out of the way. Now, this is the start of a brand new series where I don't do shout outs. I actually, literally, let another channel take over my channel. So, to kick it off, and to show you how it's done, uh, we're going to see a video from Electric Adventures. This is literally a video that he'd make normally for his channel, which has been put on my channel instead in this video. Now, no requests please, uh, no saying, oh can you do my channel please, this is strictly by invite only to stop all those emails. So in the meantime, watch Electric Adventures channel and if you want to subscribe at any time, there is a link below and I'll be back after the video. Take it away Tony. YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with a gameplay video of Burn Rubber on the ColecoVision, which is actually a homebrew game. Um, I'm doing this gameplay video specifically for Retro Gamer VX. Uh, oops, you select with the um, steering wheel, a little sensitive. I'm going to go for a slightly simpler course because I'm not very good at this. Right, so you have oh, computer control guys. Well, I don't have tremendous luck beating. You have, you know, very slidey controls. So my accelerator pedal took off. You can't exactly see me with the controls, otherwise. very responsibly and they're programmed at very you know floaty and skinny and this game I actually really like because um, I used to play one of the early super sprint games one of the black and white ones uh, with four steering wheels with my mates at the local arcade and we used to have heaps of fun playing on even though there were newer you know newer machines around it was one you could play four players eventually. Dear me. They're about to let me. Not many sound effects other than the engine noise and the beep sound when I ran into somebody. I'm using all my speed all the time because I'm not staying on the track. One of the great things about this game is, obviously it's a homebrew game, we've got a program completely from scratch and it's using the, um, the steering wheel controller um, of which, you know, the wonderful turbo game um, that originally came out with Coleco used and a couple others but not very many games. So it's just so nice getting, you know, having a game um, brought out in modern times for an old system like the Coleco that uses one of the more obscure peripherals. Um, so there we go, just a quick gameplay video. As you can see, I got fourth, not very good, but um, it is actually quite hard, um, well, at least for me. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this quick little gameplay video. I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll catch you next time. Right, and welcome back to the lab, and thank you very much Tony, much appreciated, uh, enjoyed watching that and making this video with you. Remember, if you want to subscribe to Tony, there's a link here now, and you will subscribe. You will go to this link now and subscribe, or there will be consequences, and the consequences are coming your way, because the longer you wait to subscribe, the closer me and my freshly red neck, because I just got a shave, is getting closer to the camera.
And you know I'm no clip okay? So subscribe. Or you'll get to see me very close up. And it will be extremely disturbing. This monitor at the side of the camera is very off-putting because I see myself getting closer. Very off-putting. But anyway, I'm getting closer. Go subscribe. Subscribe. Or else you'll be seeing nasal hair. I warn you. Nasal hair. Right. Here it comes. Subscribe. Now. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.